Hello my friends, I have a very special guest today. This is Lindsay Schoolcraft, and if you do not know her, she is a singer, a musician, a songwriter, an amazing all-around person. She's actually on an international tour right now, and I have interrupted her tour to invite <laughs> her over here. She is currently on tour with the band Cradle of Filth. Contrary to my current persona, <laughs> Lindsay's gonna go ahead and do my makeup and we're gonna chat about Cradle of Filth and about music and makeup and all of that and I'm so excited. So if that sounds awesome to you, hang tight. We're getting into it right now. What are we gonna do today as far as makeup? Hello, editing Jen here. I just wanna do a quick apology to Lindsay and to you because I realized as I was editing that my camera was not, uh, it was zooming back as far as it could be, but I realized as I was editing that Lindsay was not in frame for some of the video. When she gets into the tutorial part, she is in frame pretty much the entire time, but I did wanna let you know that I am aware she was out of frame and I'm really sorry for that, but there's nothing I can do in editing just because because that was where the frame was fully zoomed back. So I do apologize, but it is a really great video and I can't wait for you to meet Lindsay if you don't know her. Hopefully you still enjoy the video and let's get to that right now. Lindsay does the makeup for <laughs> Cradle of Filth. I forgot to mention that. So whenever you see the band, if you're a fan of the band, Lindsay does all of the makeup. So what are we gonna be doing today, you think? Okay, so I didn't have much time to think about it last night, but then it clicked when I was doing my makeup this morning that I'm just gonna give you one of my classic looks. Fabulous. Like it's, it's my favorite go-to look that I use quite a bit, um, and it works for stage and the meet and greets and photo shoots and music videos. I'm just gonna give you that classic look, and it's kind of, um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with these terms, it's, it's darker, it kind of falls into the new goth category where the gothic culture is taking si examples of pop culture styles, so it's called new goth. If you look it up, it's, it's got cool. all that stuff there. <laughs> hey, you probably know. I may not know, but you probably know. <laughs> this is a pain in the butt, but I use it all the time. I use the cool contour, and that's where I get like my Maleficent cheeks from. Fabulous. That's, uh, I'll see what I can do for you. I think we can make this nice. work. Nice, so Kat Von D is a yes, staple. Yes, she Von is. Von. She's so lovely. She actually, it's Kat Von D's fault that I got so into makeup. She sent me a care package about three years ago to my door, and just like, actually I have the Chrysalis palette right here. It has been used and abused and loved. There it's been around the world with me. And she sent me this along with a bunch of other goodies. And because of her, like I owe her a massive thank you for getting me so interested in makeup artistry. I've loved this one a little too much. I use this as a highlighter. This is obviously like for a contour and lightening up. So it is, it's my go-to. This is like being in Cradle of Filth. Actually, Danny is about to make me hit pan on Swoon because he loves it so much. I, oh, it's nice. on his eyes every night. And Danny's the lead singer. Yes, he's our lead singer. He has quite the look. And I mean, I'm using this to contour his eyes and everything. So um, I love it. I'm, I'm not disappointed for grabbing it. And I don't know why people don't mention the quads from Kat Von D. Yeah, I don't There's, have any of those. You don't? I don't. They're so underrated. Um, you know, I, I love them. The formula is fantastic. I use the pink in here as my blush. Oh wow. And it's amazing. Okay. Like these are gorgeous. You put them on and like once they blend in with your skin, like this is a vampire go-to. But this one here is what we're gonna base your look on. So oh. we got that and we've got the holographic, which is just like I do you own this one. I do. I yes. do have that one. Mine's a little dirty right now because it's a little too loved on the road. We use it for everything. I even actually put it on Danny. I didn't realize everything was so cat von D. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm it's like, hey, cat, what's up? So, <laughs> this is this is fantastic. I noticed in the makeup world, in artistry, and the tutorials, everyone wants to just 
highlight the crap out of their face. It's like, true. I like it on the cheeks. I think it makes you look like some kind of mythical creature. But then the rest of the face, this is my setting powder, which is the blotting powder. That's like a mattifying powder. And this is, as you can see, it's been used a lot. I actually have a refill pan waiting for me in Toronto when I get nice. home next week. And this is what I travel with. There is a bunch of really weird stuff in there. There's unicorn brushes, there's Kat Von D, there is um, Zoeva uh, Sugar Pill. Uh, I can't even pronounce the name of this one. Do you know how to say that name? I'm uh, Canadian. Delium. Yeah. Del yes. yes. Mm, yeah. No, those silent letters don't work well for me. <laughs> um, so it's And one thing I was very impressed with is that they're impeccably clean. Oh, yes. Okay. So something <laughs> about being on the road is if you don't keep your stuff clean, you're going to get sick. You're going to mm. get an eye infection. You're going to get a throat infection. So this is kind of also my end of the night calm down after a show, clean my brushes. It's nice. like that little downtime thing. And right. I already did um, my foundation and concealer, uh, but that's all I've put on. I just kind of grabbed random things. So, <laughs> so excited! Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Right, I gotta do you, like need it. Me, want you to put my hair back? Yeah, if okay. you could, all that right, would yep. be really awesome, actually. I think I wore this in one video, and then I couldn't bring myself to wear it again. It's I actually really cute, though. I feel like rockabilly goth. Yeah. I'm just gonna sort of goth all over this video right ah, now. So, so <laughs> So I'm gonna use the black, but I'm not gonna do it over too much. Something I like about black powder, and I use it for my own eyebrows, is like if my hair is black or if it fades to brown, you can't really tell with the eyebrows. So nice. I'm like a little nervous right now. I won't lie. This is <laughs> this is like really exciting. This is so fun. Because usually people are like, especially my mom's like, your makeup's too much. Like you know, why Never why do much. you why do you do that? And I'm just like, well, mom, like. You know what I mean? Like it's I'm in a goth band. This is how it's gonna be. So I actually really like the natural shape of your eyebrows. Thank you. And by the way, I am not a makeup artist at all. I was telling Jen earlier that I've actually just like been taught by some friends in the industry. Luckily they're in like special effects and really crazy artsy makeup. But uh oh this is gonna be good. You have a really nice shape to your eyebrows. Oh, thank you. I'm excited. That's the thing, I'm always worried, like, I've done wedding makeup and, like, casual makeup, and I'm always like, I'm gonna turn this person into a witch. <laughs> I think the fans are gonna be really excited to know all my secrets now. Yes, because you're gonna post this on Cradle of Filth stuff, too, as oh, well, right? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, they want to know, because they want to know more about, like, my makeup and Danny's makeup, and when you're consistently, um doing music you just never find the extra time to like film a video do you know what yeah, i mean like, definitely i wish i had more time to do videos at home but the minute i get home it's like okay get in the studio go 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 yeah i bet so yeah so this is like an angled um brush i don't even know the brand it's rubbed off it came from my friend from the industry and she's like yeah just have this and it's my favorite brush don't you hate that one like you have this favorite brush and you have no idea <laughs> where it came from who yep. made it like you're like this is my brush sorry yeah. So get a good angled brush when you want to do uh, powdered eyebrows. This is like crazy. I can't believe I'm doing your makeup. That's so exciting. And um, do you want to tell them like why, like how you know me? I was working at that bar, right? And I was yeah. like making the money to do my solo album. Sunday nights, my, my downtime was like, I'm just going to watch like makeup tutorials and lie in bed and eat a whole tub of ice cream. <laughs> Because that's how I roll on Sundays. That was my yeah. Sunday routine. And you popped up with, like, the makeup news. And I'm like, oh, this is this is perfect. So, yeah, you became, like, my go-to. And now yeah. every time you open my iPad, my YouTube home is just riddled with your videos. Nice. I love it. I love it. So she connected with me on Twitter. Oh, and that's and true. Then, yeah, and then we just started talking back and forth. And my husband's a big fan of Cradle of Filth. So he was super excited. And I was excited for him. And then I, then I started talking to Lindsay and realized how awesome of a person she is. Oh, you're so <laughs> so it was, it's, you know, it was a connection. It's yeah. A good connection. Yeah. It was like the smart chicks. We got to stick together. Absolutely. No. And that's why I liked your, um, what's up in makeup news because, you know, at the end of the week when I'm done working, I don't want to go try to flip through all those blogs and websites mm -hmm. and look for those articles. Like nobody does. You're exhausted. But I just turn on what's up in makeup news and I like learn something and I feel it's important that's for awesome. people in the industry to watch it, to kind of know what the heck's going on. So well, thank okay. you. I appreciate uh, of that. Of course, I mean that. This is cool. I'm I'm gonna I'm really gonna try not to like Wednesday Adams you or anything. You do whatever you want. This is really really fun though. All right, I just want to make sure these brows do you justice. Okay, cool. I really hope you like this. I'm I'm going to love it. I already know I am. <laughs> it's in my it's in my heart. I know I am. Aw, oh, these brows are like solid. Okay, 
So this is my favorite, the Too Faced. Um, the shadow is completely gone. It is a shadow the shadow insurance. This thing about <laughs> traveling is like the, the labels just fall off. Even Danny won't let me do this with the primer. Oh, really? He just, it's interesting. Danny's uh, makeup routine is he'll use his Kat Von D foundation, like the lightest shade she has. I think it's a 41. And then he'll... Um, he'll like slap on these crazy lines because it's black metal. I think it's Zazoodle. It's like literally clown paint. Oh wow. But it's like high end clown paint from England. I could be wrong. And so he likes to use that. He puts it really um, thick on his eyelid. And then when you put down the red eyeshadow, it just pops. Like it looks oh, wow. amazing. But yeah, because of that, we uh, we don't use primer on him, and uh, I, th I think it would benefit him, but uh, he's just, he's been in this industry so long, he's so set in his ways. It's, it's interesting, like, working with a, a man who has worn makeup for his whole career, and uh, he's very good, like, he's very artsy, he's a good drawer, and he does a great job, but he, he likes it when I come in and do the contouring in his eyes. So, so how long have you been with the band? I have been with the band for five years now, and it's, oh my gosh, this stuff is so buttery. It's it's sometimes a little too much to work with. Like you have to be careful. I've never had fallout with it, but as long as you you tap it before you use it, right? Mm -hmm. So what I like about this is like it looks like a beige hair, but when it goes on, it's kind of like an orange, and it's kind of vampiric. I'm about it. So nice. Let's all right, do it. I'll get you to close your eyes here. This is gonna work out really good. And I'm using the brush I can't pronounce, Delium. But Delium. Oh, I think it's Delium. Gosh. I don't know. See, I don't know if it's a silent B. Delium. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the Delium. 783. I'm actually talking like a YouTuber right now. You so sure are. This you is are hilarious. catching on quick. This is so funny. I never thought this would happen. So I'm like, yeah, go me. So I know that you can do swipes back and forth or you can do like little um, circles. There's so many different techniques. Um, sometimes when I'm on the road, I am in such a rush that I'm just like, get on my face. I'm just like <laughs> hammering my eyeballs. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's just really subtle. I don't want to overdo it. It's kind of cool seeing a darker look on people who don't necessarily always do a darker look. Uh -huh. I like your, your really colorful eyes. Like thank when you. you use the lime greens and stuff, I'm like, oh, yes. they, they, they suit you so well. Or like oh, the gold and stuff. Okay, so that's the beginning. Now, before I, this is oh, oh my fault. Are you okay? I just told, I'm not used to somebody doing my makeup. Uh, you I just open my eyeball. Right in the eye. That was my fault. No, you oh. got my eyelashes. You didn't get me in the okay. eye. No, okay. I did that. That was my oh, fault. Oh my god, I hate to be the person who makes you go blind. This one here, I never thought I'd like. Like, I never liked this brush for what it's used for. It's the NYX smudging brush. Okay. And I'm like, I tried using it and smudging it. I'm like, no. But for packing on powder. It's, it's amazing. Um, so what I do is I take the Chrysalis palette here and I'm just gonna go along um, your eyebrows here just to like make them pop a little bit. Like it just literally, it puts it on flawlessly and it's, it's, it's such an affordable little brush and it's easy to clean. It's literally one night it rolled off the table into the back end of like this uh, wall at the venue and I was just like ripping out the table and, oh, like, like no not my brush yeah, yeah. like losing my mind and yeah. I was like man I want that and they're like how much does it cost I'm like it's that bread so <laughs> <Just, laughs> it's, it's my brush my brush yeah all right so what I do is I do this thing where I actually powder it's a cool little straight stage trick that I learned is powdering that like inner corner of your eye for stage. It just, I guess it's a form of contouring. It just kind of opens up your eyes a little bit. I also use it as kind of a concealer Oh nice! because I get like really, really bad bags and that go up into that corner. If you were like doing public speaking or something, mm -hmm. like, it just, just brightens it up. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's crazy how much it helps. What I do is I bring this onto the lid. I love this shade. It is like, this beige and it's I guess grayish is that the proper term for it I don't know my eyes are closed I can't see it oh okay <laughs> sorry I just spit on you <laughs> this one here is this okay <laughs> I'm not used to filming with other people, so when I go, <laughs> it like actually goes to a person. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. The, the guys do it to me on stage. I'm not concerned. I've gotten like water in the face. Oh it's my fine. Gosh. But yeah, that one there. It's like a oh okay a yeah grage. yeah. You yeah, know yeah, what exactly. I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's a grayish. And a I cool feel brown. I feel like that was like that is like the color um, for new goth makeup. Like everyone doing the new goth is like grayish. All the grayish.
Okay, so something I'm gonna do, because your eyes are a little bit different. I knew that this was gonna happen. I'm actually gonna take a different brush and get the bottom line there. This is a concealer brush from e.l.f. and it's my favorite for detail. Nice. It's weird how I've gotten different brushes over the years on my travels, like all over the world, and they all like have a different purpose like than mm -hmm. what they're actually meant to do. Nice. I don't you know. Can figure out what works, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and again, affordable, like Elf and NYX. It's like mm -hmm. musician, like musician's budget. There we go. I know I'm going to put liner here, but you just never want like that little, you know what I mean? That little missed spot, that little mm -hmm. hole. And then again, attention to detail. I'm just like brutal for it. And one thing that's like really, I'm really a stickler on now is blending because of my friend Eula from Germany. She bought me all those Zoeva blending brushes. Mm. And now I'm just like, blend, blend all the time. So yes. it's amazing what a good blend can do for your eye. I'm trying to work on that because I'm a lazy blender. <laughs> I like to blend for about 3.5 seconds. And you're like, okay, I'm done. I'm bored now. 3.75 max. <laughs> See, that's the problem. I will spend, like the guys yell at me, I will spend like five minutes in the mirror blending. And they're like... Yeah, I just used my fingers and like smudged all my black makeup over my eyes. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. So, but, but it looks so much better. It it does. Yeah. It it just brings it together. It's literally art for your eyes. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, the guys in my band, they're really interesting. Sorry, I keep it's opening okay. my eye it's okay. while you're. <laughs> I really don't want. I really don't want to get you in the I eye. Forgetting. It's okay. Um, they all use like NYX makeup. They use uh -huh. like those big jumbo sticks and stuff. Just oh, yeah. turn this way a little bit. I just want to make sure I didn't miss Milk's this. Milk's a classic. It is. They love it. They use it on their lips. It's so cute. Um, and I actually I taught the two guitarists who were new at the time how to do their makeup and I'm quite proud of them because they've like it's simple makeup, but they do it really well mm. and efficiently and they've got Well and these are guys that it. wouldn't have worn makeup if they weren't in the band, correct? Exactly. Like it's we're one of those acts that have like a massive image, which like are not a lot of bands that like other than maybe Kiss. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, we've got like this um, this crazy image going on, and it requires right. so much work and planning and love and oh man, like doing face charts for music videos and stuff. It's crazy. This is actually looking really really nice. It's when we do the under eye, it's gonna all tie together and it's gonna be nuts. I feel, and I think a lot of people can sympathize with me about this, is like, when you were little, you were either the Disney princess or you were the Disney villainess. <laughs> and I identified with the villainesses the most, so yeah. it's like, when you're like that at a young age, it just never goes away. Yeah. It just becomes a part of It's part of, of who you are. Exactly. Yeah, that's so cool. I was definitely leaning more toward the princess side, I have to admit. That's okay. So I was like, we need princesses. <laughs> we do. Like, can't we just all be villains? You gotta have both, be, right? Yeah, that would be horrible. Too many villainesses? No, no thanks. Yeah. So something I like to do, and again, for being on stage, I like putting white powder, like a, just a matte white in the corners of the eyes. Um, and what it does, it's so cool. Here, ha have, have a close. <laughs> okay, have a close. Closing. Yeah. So I just feel, maybe it's because I like the way Tiger's eyes look. I don't know what it is. If you notice that, like tigers have like this this bit of white in the corner of their eyes. I feel it just does something that makes the whole look like open up. I don't know. It, and and then w when you'll see later when we go to put some like highlighter on it, it just makes it pop even more. And it's like my favorite thing to do. And I think that's like one step that people are like, Lindsay, how do you do that? I'm like, well, so here, have an open. Yeah, okay, I like where this is going. And it's like literally applied the way I apply it to. Okay, now I'm gonna yes. get you to look up. I'm gonna not jab you in the eye, okay. I'm gonna get you to look up. Looking up. I can follow directions. I can follow directions. You got this, you got this. Oh, you're twitching, I'll let you have a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this up again. again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like to bring it in a little bit here before we get really heavy. <laughs> I bet you can't wait to actually see this. I can't, because I can't see. The monitor is like, I'm like, squishing it right now. It's like this big to me. Oh yeah, <laughs> so I, can't really see, I don't so even have my glasses I don't on. even know what's happening right now. I'm looking forward to okay, finding out. Okay, let's see. How's it going? I have no idea. It's yeah. going good. I'm going just good. gonna, okay. I'm all about uh, symmetry, even though that does not technically exist on our faces. So I don't want to let your face down. We need to make sure that everything's level. Do you do that with your tutorials? I, I never really noticed. I try to, yeah. but sometimes it fails. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm very ready. <laughs> I'm so ready. Okay. This part is Bring where... Bring it on, Lindsay. <laughs> this is where even I'm just like, 
I don't know if I can handle this yes. when you first start doing it, but then the more the more you do it and you put the rest of the look together is when it gets light. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. All right. So there's this thick under eye, but it is going to come together. We're back. Okay. What happened? Um, the it, it, it after a certain amount of minutes, it just it cuts off, and you just have to restart oh, it. Oh, is that why so, you do that in your videos? I maybe. thought it was just like editing. You were just editing out. Of I do edit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. It's both. Okay. It's I, was like, both. I was like, oh. Yeah. Just to make sure. So yeah, what I did is along the the bottom here is just you start with the first layer, okay, and then you just kind of work your way towards the bottom lashes. So I just kind of blend it a little bit to give it like a smoke. And when you're on stage, it looks like such a solid line, but I don't want it to literally be like solid on my face. Okay. So this is how I bring it together. So I stay close to the lash line. And then just pat like another layer of this darker color on the bottom. Like it, it kind of just like layers up. It's really, really cool. Yeah, this color suits your eye color so well. It's actually kind of crazy. I think you need this quad awesome. in my I think life. I do. Let me see, just make sure I'm getting it right. Okay, yeah. There we go, okay. All right, and then I'll do the other one here. Just, you never know, man, that first application. I'm yeah. keeping it cool, I'm like, frick it out inside. <laughs> it's cool. Well, when you, when you do makeup on somebody else, you're not used to that face shape, so yeah. it's different. And that's why I, people would say, you know, oh, can you do my makeup? And it's like, I don't know your face. I don't right. know how to you do makeup your on face. your face. I know how to do, I'm, well, so we're kind of don't know how to do makeup on my own <laughs> face. But someone else's face is a totally different shape, so I it totally is. admire, like, makeup artists for being able to do anybody's face. Yeah, you know, that, that that's like a skill, it's just a talent that blows my mind like m the people who've trained me and like them going into work every day and just making someone look so fabulous for um you know like film and and uh tv and model shoots music videos anything i'm like how you do that is just it's just beyond me so okay i think this this is happening this is gonna be wait till the liner goes on oh my god this is really good. I know you're gonna, I think you're really gonna like this. I just gotta actually pull down the shape woo, of one of these quickly. Okay. Cause again, symmetry, another thing. And the other thing that is so funny, I have to say this, I have to share this with the beauty world cause it's hilarious. When you're up on stage, trim your nose hairs. <laughs> Because if you have a photographer get up in your business and see something up your nose. Oh my gosh. It's forever. It's forever. Once it's on the yeah. internet, you can't take it away. Yeah. Like, no, blow your nose. Get rid of those sure nose hairs. Make sure that's gone. I'm yeah. good though, right? Am I yeah, solid? Yeah, you're, you're solid. Don't okay. worry. You're okay. Just but that's, sure. it's just like how many musicians don't think of that. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Who would think? I mean, because especially with the audience being below you. Yeah. It's weird. You know. And that lower lip line. Always make sure that's very important. Yeah, like when I see like lip lines in the bottom, they're like, oh, my OCD. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it, Jen. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's give this a shot. So okay. I want to make sure I get this shape right. Yeah, so just like, um, just like chill, look at me for a second. Yeah, I just like look at my nose or something. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. I only know how to do this on myself. So this is a new experience. I literally feel like I'm painting a picture right now. This is something that takes me like two minutes on myself in the morning. This is the part I think where every woman on the planet just goes completely silent because it's like your your eyeliner makes you or breaks you. Yeah, you know and it's I mean? like you just hold your breath and pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pray to the makeup gods. Okay, exactly. Chill, look again. Uh, no. Did I just mess it up. We can go with a really thick look, but or it's supposed I to be thin. It, it can be thin in the corner. Q-tip, <laughs> Go, go. Before it dries forever. I hope I'm not hurting you. Dear nope, God, you're I hope good. I'm not hurting you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, yeah, I jumped Jen in the eye and she never, like, tweeted back at me ever again. <laughs> <laughs> no worries on that. Okay, just clean Did this up. It? with Yeah, just cleaning it up with a bit of powder. Okay. Oh, man. I've done that so many times myself, though, so... Yeah, it's, uh... I think I did it though. I think I moved my eyeball. It's okay. Once we get those lashes okay. on, it's not going to be visible. Another thing, I cut corners quite a bit. I'm like, nah, I put the lashes on. Let me see that. Or you like you jab go. yourself in the corner with mascara. It's like, oh yeah, I meant to put dots on my upper eyelid tonight. <laughs> like, clearly. <laughs> clearly, that was on purpose. Yeah, that was so part of the look tonight. Like, yeah. you can just, you can, you can BS your way through anything in the metal world. Okay, so next part of liner that is just like. It's, it's my favorite and my most least favorite part is pulling the look together. So what I do is I kind of go, uh, I build like an outer shell, so to say. There we go. And I like to bring it up there because 
and then I bring it down. This is what I do every night before a show. Sometimes you guys will notice that my liner is like funky monkey shaped or like like really, I don't know, I can't explain it. Yeah, this is the Lindsay look. You're almost like getting Cleopatra here. This yes. is crazy. But it looks so nice on stage. Like when I put on that black gown and I get up there and I start singing opera, it's just like, yes, of course you have to have this big, bold, like wing. Like, why wouldn't you? Because there's been nights where I'm like, oh, I think I went too bold. And uh, I, I regretted it when the photos came in. <laughs> I did. It, it was too bold. No, it was too tiny. It was, it was like tiny. this little chubby wing, and I'm like, why did I? I can't imagine you could get that. too bold with the kind of makeup that you do. Like, no, never. You can just like I brought wings like all the way back here oh, yeah. and like redrawn my eyebrow all the way mm -hmm. back, and yeah, it's crazy. Okay, I just want to make sure this works for okay. you. Okay, because your eyes shaped a little different than mine. So you can actually close them right now. Okay, closing them. Okay. There we go. That makes more sense. This liner is actually really, really good. I'm glad I put this on my want list. I think I'm going to pick some up. I haven't, you know how hard when you're on tour, it's so easy to find a Sephora. Do you know how far, I like hard it is to find a Nick store oh, anywhere yeah, near yeah. a venue? Like we you have, have to go to a Nick store near us either. You don't? No. Mm -mm. There aren't that many of them, no. I don't think. The only Nick <laughs> store I've ever been to is the one in San Francisco. Really? Yeah. See, there's one in my hometown. Okay. But it's like a tiny one. So it's Yeah. Like Oh man, Danny must be fed up with me. I have to do this with Danny like every night. Okay, I'm just gonna bring it up just a little bit more. Because this is the part that just, it gives you that crazy cat eye, but like the crazy witch cat eye. It's really, really cool. Let's see how we're doing. How are we looking so far? <laughs> I keep making uh, that same face. It's like that. <laughs> I can't stop it. It just keeps taking over. It's a stage persona. It does that. I just want to do your face justice. When you told me about this concept last night, I was like, oh, gotta ruin her pretty face. No, oh my God, you're doing great. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's interesting how, like, I look at, I see the animal in us, I guess, and I take a lot of inspiration from, like, nature. This was something I would have said in grade six, but it's, it's very true. Um... You know, when I see our makeup, I feel like the way we paint our face is kind of modeled after like a cat or a tiger mm -hmm. or something. And I always found that really interesting. I think there's like a sexiness to cats. I know? think so. They're in control. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like, got like a, they're just sleek and yeah. the way they walk. And, yeah, you know, yeah. That, it's yeah. really, really cool. So I think that's why like people are so attracted to their power. Like a lion is like a very powerful animal. And Okay, look at me. That's awesome. Oh my God, I'm really happy with this. <laughs> I can stop freaking out. You That's can the part see that... more than I can see right now because yeah. I can't see anything. Yeah, I see some of the detail yeah. people yeah. put into their makeup on YouTube. And it's it's like, incredible. Oh and gosh. some of the Instagram stuff. <gasps> but the thing that bothers me about Instagram is you never know what's photoshopped on and what they really did. Oh my gosh, that bothers me. <laughs> Like, I want to know what they actually did. I mean, there's nothing yeah. wrong with an artistic photo that's been enhanced as long as I, like, I don't know what's real and what's not real. Yeah. Okay, so contouring. So I'm not a major, I'm not, like, drag contour. This is, like, you know, this my go-to, but, like, I'm not, like, going to do everything. Okay. I just like having those cheeks. Nice. You know, and, you know, honestly, I am so guilty. Like, I'm in this grim black metal S band, and there are so many photos of me smiling here you can put your, your chin oh. down um smiling on stage and people are like you're like the happiest person in heavy metal i'm like yeah because oh. i have fun on stage it's really yeah. fun but when you know when you when you smile it looks really good when your cheeks are like popping up so what i do is i just do a very light contour i start from the back here and I do it in the circular motion. I don't remember where I learned this from. Probably Jordy from It's Likely Makeup. I watch a lot of her tutorials. Nice. She's very informative. I've never swirled my contour like that, but it makes sense. Yeah. As long as like it doesn't end up going too low. I think that I would make a mistake and it would end up going like beard face. Oh no. Because I've I, never I, had that problem. I was, I was, I've done beard face until actually a subscriber told me I was doing beard face and I realized, I, oh, you're right. I kind of am doing beard face. I like, should probably stop doing that's that. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I was thankful for the constructive criticism yeah. because it helped me up my contour game. Right? So it worked that, out. That's that, exactly that that feedback. Like, that's the thing people have told me. Actually, I started contouring, like, mm, almost three years ago. And it was bad. I just, like, took my thumb and went, Murp, and it looked like I literally had, like, a shark fin on my face. Oh, no. And it was just depressing. Just and, not blended. And then my friend bought me this brush. She's like, oh, hell no, honey. She's like, you can't be doing this no more. So that's yeah. the thing. I like to do that. I like to bring it up so there's no beard going on. 
Um, and then another thing I like to do because we want everything to be super light is I actually take the powder and I press it in the crease there and then I blend it around. Nice. Kind of like you would treat blush, I think. I'm still trying to get the hang of blush. Like when you do dark makeup, the last thing you want is blush. Why do you want to look alive when you're trying to look dead? Blush is like a new thing for me. Like I find learning makeup in layers is the most important thing you can do. Mm -hmm. Start with this one thing, incorporate Definitely. it into your routine get as good at it as you you know you feel you can and then learn a new thing I think yeah. that people have a hard time in the world of makeup they're like I can never do it it's like yeah because you're trying to learn like everything all at once right and that's what's just gonna drive you mental it's that's why people get overwhelmed when they take on new things in life because they just want to do it all and it's like no mm. you, you got to do it in steps and that's luckily cradle has been very um patient with me and they've dealt with my bad makeup the first two years of the band and now it's finally going somewhere so yes. <laughs> i'm gonna use this big fluffy unicorn brush and just take away some fallout i see on your face this is why i love having like a big fluffy brush so how do you get makeup to stay on on stage? Like, All how does that... the setting spray setting spray my best friend yeah the the kat von d stuff of course this is what this is what I get for getting a care package from Kat Von D. I just yeah, use it's... all of her stuff. It's crazy. So I'm gonna blend yeah. this a little more so you don't have well, you won't have the beard, but I don't want you to have like a weird chunk. I'm also guilty for that. I'm like, oh here's my big crazy weird chunk of contour. <laughs> but it's again, it's a process. You can always get better. Um, this is my favorite part. This is the part that like is my trick. And this is just so silky and it's not over glittery, and that's what I really love about this palette. So nice just you get this little bit of like sparkle on stage and it's so pretty i'm sure with the lights shining off yeah it's just it's so cool like i'm about really colorful makeup i think i've been told by the guys they're like you're the most colorful goth i've ever met <laughs> i'm like i know i'm like we can make color a dark thing guys like we don't have to just stick to black and white and gray all the time i know like some people do that like literally all they do is like like, especially with the new goth trend, they just do this black and white with, like, gray and a hint of red. And the light here, just turn this way, because the light's really... Oh, yeah, you are so sparkly. I'm so sparkly. Very Maleficent right now. I love then, it. I take this, and I take the a little bit, because I don't want to overdo it. I take a little bit, and I just put it, like, on the brow bone a little bit, and it's just, like, on this nice. pop. It's really fun. So this is, like, this is, like, the look that I go to when I'm just like, you know what? I know it, I've got it down pat, we're gonna make it happen, and also if you could look up, I'm gonna put it, oh boy, oh. I'm so scared I'm gonna get like all this all over your face right now, I'm really trying not to. It's like, it's cool how it transforms over blacks and um, look up, and uh, browns, it's really really neat, but as like an inner eye thing, like, I don't know, it's just, it's so cool. Let's quickly bring this bad boy up so it's like... Oh yeah, this is really cool. All right, and then we're gonna let you do the the lashes yes. and the lipstick, and you're Lindsay. gonna have the full Lindsay Schoolcraft look. Yes, but you're gonna pick the lipstick for me. I am. Yes. And tell me which lipstick. It is Damned yes. by Kat Von D. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> ah, do you let's like do it? it? Yes. Like this one? Okay, yes. good. Awesome. This yes. is my favorite. I bought it like three times. Okay. I love this one. And I have a brand new lip brush that I haven't used yet that is perfectly clean. Let's do that. I can do that. All right. So we're gonna do lashes, lipstick. Be right back the big reveal <laughs> how do I look <laughs> I feel like th that it's all like came together with the lips um, I ended up putting the milk makeup holographic lip gloss over it because my skills did not live up to the dark Kat Von D <laughs> lipstick it was like bleeding everywhere and then I tried the lip liner and it wasn't working and then I I just threw the gloss on top helped me kind of even it out a little bit but I like the way that it looks with like a little bit of an iridescent it shine works with the to highlighter it too. yeah definitely it yeah I do that sometimes on stage I'll do like a purple nice yeah. nice so. and I, I just I feel like a goth princess right now I do <laughs> I still feel like me but also a little bit goth <laughs> it's seeping into my soul right now a little bit <laughs> the one step I totally missed was the blotting powder but I didn't want to make you look like super dead because okay. your skin color does not need to go like this like yeah. stage makeup right I put this on usually before the highlighter and okay. this is a step that is so important and because I'm oily dry skin I'll do it again before I go on stage right so, okay just to make sure that it's yeah, like holding it, all together it's me and Danny's favorite, so thank nice. you, Kat Von D, for making this, because nice. it just works for our lives so well. So cool. Well, yeah. thank you, Lindsay, for thank coming you. over and this hanging awesome. out with me. This was really fun. It was. And then next time you're in town, 
come back and visit. I will. I'll clean all your yeah. makeup brushes. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Check out Cradle of Filth. I'll put their uh, link to their website down below. And they're still on tour for another, it'll probably be five weeks at this point. So if they're coming to a city near you and that's the kind of music you dig, definitely check it out. Uh, again, links down below. And yeah, thanks again, Lindsay, for thank being you. here. And thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. And mad love to you. And I will see you in a video very, very soon.